Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect Windows 2022 virtual machine on Azure. See, I am on Windows Azure Home. Click on Dashboard. See, this is the Dashboard. Click on this Portal menu. Then Virtual Machines or just click on All Services. Then click on Virtual Machine or simply you can search here Virtual Machines. All are same. Go to all services or virtual machines. Then click on create. Here we have different options. Just select Azure virtual machine. Subscription, free trial. If you have the upgraded, then select here resource group. You want to create new resource group for the Windows 22? Create new. Otherwise, if you want to use existing one, select from the drop down. Both us say, give the virtual machine name. Here I am giving Win 2022. Then select the region from the drop down. I am going with North Europe. Availability options. Here we have three options availability zone, virtual machine, scale set, and availability set. I am going with availability zone. Then availability zone. Here we have three zones. Zone 1, Zone 2 and Zone 3. If you select Zone 2, this here machine names will be added. See, one more machine added. If you select, one more will be added. If you unselect, those two will be gone. Okay. Security type standard image. Here we have to change the image. Here we have to change the image. See, if you are unable to find, then you have to go here and select see all images but here it is already there then click on windows server 2022 data center vm architecture is x64 then size by default it has selected on cpu and 3.5 gigabytes memory In the bracket see the cost per month only for this size if we change the size will be reduced I am going with DS1 V2. Okay. Provide the username. Win22. Provide the password. Again, provide the password for confirmation. See, username must satisfy these three rules. Public inbound ports. Here we have these ports. For virtual machine, I am selecting only RDP3389. If you want to select others, you can select. It's not an issue. Okay. Licensing. If you have an existing one, you have to select this one. Click on next. Here disks by default it has selected premium SSD. You can select any one of them from the drop down. See, delete with VM. If you delete the VM, this OS disk will be deleted. Key management, I am going with defaults. If you want to create and add data disk, just click on create and attach a new disk. If you have an existing data disk, just click on this attach an existing disk and attach. Advanced, okay. And then click on networking. Networking, virtual network, by default it has by default it is going to use it is going to create this one if you want to create new just click on create new and provide the subnet information i am going with the defaults if you want public ip just check i am going all this networking with defaults then click on management i am going with defaults then click on monitoring again defaults monitoring you can set the alerts so it's CPU is more or memory or any values not increased, then we will get the alerts by email or Azure resource or with different options. At present, I am not setting any alerts. Then click on advanced. Here, if you want to any custom data or if you want to install extensions for this virtual machine, select an extension, then search here and add the extensions. 
then click on tax i'm not providing anything then click on review and create this will validate the information we have provided see the cost here its cost is this much per hour see this is the summary of the virtual machine if you want to edit just click on this previous and edit then come back and click on this create i am fine with this information then click on create see initializing deployment see notification not see notification information got changed deployment is in progress see here you will get the list of the resources creating this may take 4 to 5 minutes to complete this deployment see it is creating this one see it has created these resources see see here notification deployment succeeded here also see here your deployment is complete click on go to resource or click on go to resource both are same see it has populated the windows server to the 22 data center information data center virtual machine information here In the left menu see the overview see this is the public ip this is the size this is resource group status it is running it is not running here you will see the start is enabled but at present it has grayed out which means it is started or running subscription type is free trial if you want to add tax click on this here and add tax this is the virtual machine information